a day out. Well, for the second time in three days, back over the Lake District. And the second time in about two months, I think, I'm doing another collaboration with uh, uh, Katie from Katie Fox Freedom Hikes. So the aim for the day is to do the knot, uh, rest dodd, the nab, and Brock Crags. It seems quite ambitious to me, <laughs> parked up at uh, Hatsop. Free car park, but I have put a donation in there which goes to the local school. I'm wearing gaiters today for the first time this autumn, or fall as the Americans call it. Still in shorts. Hopefully, Katie shouldn't be too much longer. So we've got Katie here with us again today. That's where we're heading. Now she assures me we're going to get bright sunshine. So shorts may not have been a mistake. Anyway, let's wait and see. <laughs> You can see there's been plenty of rain over the last few, uh, last week or so, and uh, looks like we're in for a bit again today, I think, but nothing's going to stop us, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, we're making good progress, which is good, because uh, we'll be no hanging around today. We need to get sort of cracking. We're we'll going to do all these four uh, summits. Katie's very impressed the time that we're making. I'll just stop for a quick... Uh, Comfort break and uh, Katie's disappeared in the gloom. Now, this is the beauty about wearing gaiters. Conditions at the moment quite unpleasant. So the knot is basically up there. We walked out say about 15, almost 20 minutes, all the way down, and then we decided to stop and have a look at the map. And we realized we've gone a good 15 minutes past where we should have been. All that way down, you just had to climb all that way back up again. Now we're going all the way down, and we've got to climb all the way back up. The next one, which is Rest Dodd. One consolation, the rain stopped. I don't know if you can see Katie there made a rest dot. And this is what we've got for views. The rain's just starting to pick up again with the breeze. So we should have been here a good half an hour ago. One of them things. We've had a good time, we've had a good laugh. So I've really enjoyed it. So we've got another two to do yet. Rest dodge. Well, it's so tight that's what it was called. <laughs> For views, to be honest, I've had better. If you want to go hiking, you've got to take the rough and the smooth. I've had plenty of smooth lately, uh, so today's definitely a bit of rough. <laughs> this is how quickly the weather changes up here. It's unbelievable how it's coming in and out, in and out. Perfectly clear, one second. I'll get my camera out. It vanishes. So a bit of mist there on the top of the nap. That's where we came down from. And it's been definitely a walk of ups and downs. We've enjoyed it. Massively enjoyed it. Yeah. I can't wait for sustainable Sounds good to me. With my hard work first, like. So, nab up there, having two miles worth of weight here. Katie, she comes back, and then we've got to follow that to oh, sod it. I'm here. The forecast said it's going to brighten up this afternoon, so I might give it a go. So, at some point, you've got to cross here. So, giving Katie's half of my weight, we're letting her go first. And if 
if she's alive at the end of it, I'll go the same way. I'll tell you something, I'm starting to think just standing here. <laughs> yeah, well done. So for the people who say I only ever come out in good weather. <laughs> How about this? What's it like? What's it been like today? Rainy, yeah. cold, windy. Smiling. We're still smiling. We've had a good laugh. He's saving me. Yeah. That is it. I've just spent half an hour walking <laughs> the uh, That is it. Very uh, disappointing, is. I want the pillar. Yeah. There should be the work we're putting. So third summit of the day, the NAB, which is five, seven, six meters, or oh, eighteen hundred and eighty-nine feet. I tell you, summit, it feels a lot higher. <laughs> On a positive note, the wind's dropped. The rain stopped, all we need now is the sun to come out and they would have a, a perfect day. So that's where we came down from, from a rest dot. I'm pleased I'm not going up it. I'm sure I saw Eddie Kaisley's video, him and his, uh, his lovely wife Carol there did this. Uh, I don't think they did the knot, but they did the other three. Of course, I, Eddie got his normal, fantastic uh, summer's weather, of course, but... Uh, Same can't for us. No. <laughs> but either way, yeah, we've made good progress. One little setback, but so what? It's all part of the fun. Yeah, so it was a kind of uh, drop from there. Climb up all the way to the top of the nab. Drop back down. That was this little side path. We're going to follow up to the wall. The wall of the north, yeah, <laughs> should take us all the way to Brook Cracks. Yeah, I just said to Katie there, uh, so it's a shame about the weather because we're heading towards Angleton and it holds good memories for me because it was the, the, the place I did my uh, very first wild camp called Absolute Superb uh, Sunrise. And if I think on it, if I still got the footage, I might try and put a bit of it in. I'd set up and uh, there was about three tentfuls of D of E. There was one lad, oh god, he had the world's most irritating laugh. It was this high pitched, it was like a hyena laugh, and every five minutes he let this laugh go and it was going right through me. I mean I was set up, I was chilled out, I was having a couple of drinks, and I was really loving life. Then all of a sudden this laugh would go and oh god it was getting me really wound up. Anyway, I think about 10 o'clock, somebody must have took the mirror off him. And after that, it all went very quiet. Thank goodness. Well, you can see the deer down there. See, one, two, three, four, five of them. What a pity the GoPro hasn't got a zoom. I've got all the way down there. And now we're climbing all the way up here. And it is steep, really steep. Just following this wall all the way to the top. And uh, I'm hoping when we do get to the top, we can see Angleton and the final summit of the day, Brook Crags. So I'll tell you something, I am blown there now, big time. I think it's gone two o'clock there now. We've only got two hours in this these uh, conditions uh, before it gets dark. You ready? Yeah. Wow, that's all I'll say. I think, I think this is the coast to coast path. Final push to get up there. I've got about an hour and a half to get up there and get down. And get to the pub. Yeah, which I think we will do. He doesn't have a choice. He thinks yeah. he's not. I'm very sorry, Mrs. Metal Man, but he's coming to the pub. I'm, yeah. I'm shattered. So hopefully you can see Angle Town there. I'm very misty just down there. So just find that first, that last summit, and then uh, making our way down the pub. Oh God, my tongue's hanging out. So eventually, fourth and final summit of the day, Brock Crags. Smallest one, uh, but when you've been walking 
308 minutes. 380 minutes. And to be honest, we've had hardly any stops at all. It's just been pure hard work. So, place we've got there now. What do you think we need to do there now? Let's get down safely. So that's what we dropped down from. Oh my goodness gracious me. And uh, I mean, look at this here. I think that's the last uh, person that came down from there. How on earth we got down there in one piece, I do not know. <laughs> I'll tell you something, that was some too. I've never ever done a descent like that before. And uh, hopefully I never will have to do one like that again. Ooh. So if you've watched the video this far, and watch us both being tortured in the bogs of doom and uh, oh dear me we have had a good day though really enjoyed it uh, but if you have watched this fight thank you very much it's always appreciated and uh, if you have enjoyed it click on the like button and why not consider subscribing so i'll tell you something it won't be too long before i'm well it won't be too long before we are back out again so thanks very much for a great day cheers cheers cheers